Dodge claims that the 6.2-liter supercharged Hemi V8 in the Hellcat Twins is compromised because it's fitted to a car that needs to be comfortable on the street in addition to a performer on the drag strip, not so with the Demon. As Dodge says the car is designed to be highly competent in all drive modes and configurations, including the all-new drag mode, Dodge says details about the new mode will trickle out over the next few weeks. But all the info this week focused on suspension. The third law in this week's title refers to Isaac Newton in motion. When one body exerts a force on a second body, the second body simultaneously exerts a force equal in magnitude and opposite in direction on the first body. We're not sure what Newton would have thought seeing the sidewall wrinkling Nitto and T05R drag radials in action, but he'd probably have a reaction of some sort himself. An ideal suspension setup for the drag strip makes for a poor setup on the road. As Dodge puts it, the old school way to set up a drag car was to get the quickest reacting springs up front, the softest rebound front shocks that wouldn't restrict the spring's reaction, remove any restrictions, sway bar, and increase the compression of the rear shocks. This would give a car great front to rear weight transfer but made for very poor lateral direction control meaning minor corrections were difficult. The Demon's drag mode will use electronics to give the car the best combination of launch and lateral stability. Dodge listed some of the parts to help aid in this goal. They also gave us a few equations that we can't make sense of. Let us know if you have any clues.